Hello everyone, CS Word here. This is my one wide escalator design. As you can see, it's really clean and fast, 14 meters per second, and only requiring three blocks, three torches, two observers, and two pistons for every block you're going to move up and over. Now, I'll go ahead and start from the beginning. The oldest designs looked like this, where you had a block and then a one and a half tall block, and the player would be getting pushed along by water. However, even with blue ice, this is still incredibly slow, not to mention that the ratio is two blocks over for every one block up, not that golden one to one. Then designs came out where you had a piston that, get, that got pushed out from the wall. It extend and push the player upstairs. However, the crawling mechanic has pretty much broken these setups. And I don't know if it's because I have a fast design or not, but if it's not going to work with a fast design like this, then I don't want to bother with the slow design. Now, if you want the piston to come up from underneath, you're going to need a triple piston extender. Good luck. You are not going to be making this one that fast. So now that we have the pistons sitting on top here, the first design is a tripwire hook, which I've had to modify by adding a two-tick delay to both the top and bottom. And so now, if we run onto this design, we see that it does in fact work, because walking onto this design does make the player oscillate between the crawling and walking animation, which is really annoying. So we have here a unreliable, slow, and just pretty much bulky design, too. And I fixed that by making it a observer detecting strings, so now the... Uh, additional two tick delays removed the top only has a repeater at none and the bottom one gets powered instantly however this one still is not all that reliable i got it that time however there is quite a few times where it still doesn't work like that one so yeah this is player detection based and obviously it's not that great now if we make it a redstone signal based and not player detection all the pistons fire regardless of the player all right so now we just have a pattern of bottom side bottom side bottom side all the way to the top on the back here, we see that there is a repeater at the second delay, and a space, a repeater at the second delay, and between them, two torches. So each segment has a four game tick delay, and we can instantly improve that by just making this into a redstone torch tower like so, having two game ticks between each segment. And now our escalator goes from this to twice as fast this. So yeah, that's more like it. Now, the way I'm activating this one, and the same goes for the one wide, is... The pistons are being activated by observers that are just detecting torches along the tower. The top section, it, I'm having a piston fire to activate this observer to send a signal into the torch tower. Obviously, you need a repeater at the second delay. The first one here, I just needed to make it instantly powered because of timings that I had messed up. And I needed a repeater on the second, or on the bottom here to match the top. So, it was just a matter then of making this into the one wide. But I'll go ahead and ride this real quick. Alright, same thing as before, when you hit the button, it activates the piston here for the observer to send a signal here into the torch tower. Now I have the observers underneath of the torches to power the block for the pistons on the side of them to power. Alright, and this setup was done so that I would avoid quasi-connectivity from the torches and the pistons there. And yes, I know that the next torch in line will indeed power that from above. However, because the player has already passed that point, that's not going to matter. Now, as for the bottom side, when we hit the button, the torch here then sends the signal down, and same thing, we need another repeater to match the top, and we have the redstone torch tower, and I just put torches on top for the observers to detect to power the pistons. That gives us that nice, clean animation. And as you see there, there's a second set of uh, stuff going up, and that's because we're using a button. I have tried to fix this by using an observer and no block combo, however, I just could not get that to work. I should also mention that while you're writing this, you cannot move at all, jump, crawl, whatever, until you're completely done with the thing, you could fly in creative mode, but even that's a little bit tricky to do. And one more thing is if you move this top section down one block, this does become an item elevator, which is rather convenient. And the player can still ride it. However, it does make the player go into the crawling animation over and over, which is kind of annoying. Anyway, that's all I have for today, and thanks for watching. Goodbye.